what is this? Half human and half animal. It's a sign. Werewolves live among us. But who has seen their true faces? One roams the streets this night, spreading death and horror. As the mayor of Munich, I hired you, detective, to investigate this case about a so-called werewolf attacking our citizens. It's Oktoberfest, so naturally our city is overcrowded, but we must keep order. Your visit tells me you found a clue. Several, Mayor Schultz. I shall show them to you. It all started when... I recognized the mayor's handwriting. He sent me this theater poster as a clue. This claw mark and bloodstain seem suspicious, but they don't prove there was a werewolf backstage. Still, it's better to hurry, Vince. It seems another attack has happened. Yes, sir. We'll be there before the police. The backstage door is on the right, and I'll be waiting for you out front. Oh, don't forget your cane, sir, and your case folder, too. I'll start this case by investigating the crime scene backstage. I need to question everyone about this werewolf. Werewolves in Munich? Highly doubtful. This is more likely someone's game of shadows.
breathing. I found the victim officers. Give me a moment to examine her. Aren't you that famous detective? Dr. Richter, the mayor sent me to help you. I've examined all of the previous crime scenes. I've been given some time to examine the victim, but I'd appreciate seeing your deductive skills in action. I'll assist you. I agree, this was a vicious attack. The last crime scene had similar clues. Claw-like scratches and huge paw prints and the victim's handprints. Does this one have similar clues? Judging by the mess, the actress struggled fiercely. She broke free, threw things, grabbed scissors for protection. She even ripped some fabric from her attacker's coat. But the attacker was much stronger. The incredible force with which these scratches, wounds, and paw prints were made lead me to believe her attacker was not human. Could it really be a werewolf? Thankfully, the victim is still with us. Let's wake her up and see what she remembers. white hat and brown leather cloak. He was a werewolf. Good, detective. Now it's my job to take care for this poor Fraulein. If you need my help, come to my office anytime. Since he didn't kill the victim, he's likely looking for another. Unfortunately for us, that's easy to do in the Oktoberfest crowds. Frightened victim claimed she saw a werewolf, but she could be in shock. At the same time, the clues proved this attacker was tall and very strong. Could the sharp claws be tools shaped to look like claws? Comparing that stranger I saw and the victim's words, I surmise he is a well-built man about six feet tall, wearing a wide-brimmed hat and a brown leather cloak.
Excuse me, sir. Oh, that's him! Werewolf! Get him! Get him! Don't let him escape! Get him! Get him. Get him.
Hands up. Come out slowly. Please, don't hurt me. This is just a mask. I'm Uwe, an actor. I work in the street theater. I play the werewolf, see? I was just trying to scare up some more spectators for our show in the crowd. I was handing out these posters. Hmm? All my... Coat buttons are here. Look. I didn't mean any harm. I was just acting. If you're looking for a beast, try the circus. See? They have a wolf man. These attacks started after they came to town. Our suspect turned out to be a costumed actor. His coat buttons didn't match, so we can cross him off. However, he did tell us about a curious wolf man at the circus. Never seen such odd footprints. Whether it was a real wolf or a man pretending to be one, the creature certainly went to the right. What you seek is not here. Be gone. It's no wonder this wolf is enraged. Someone has stolen her cub. I can hold her off while you find it. Otherwise, she'll tear us both apart.
fate has brought you here, detective. As for your investigation, I haven't seen anything odd, save for that stolen cub. However, if you're feeling lost, let us consult my crystal ball. My predictions never lie. Who are you searching for? A werewolf. What does it look like? There are many superstitions about werewolves. Most of these are false. Once your mind is clear from superstition, what do you see in my crystal ball? Ah, this image reminds me of our wolfman. He lives in carriage 19. You may question him, but he is not whom you seek. I suppose the rest of your wolf-like features are fake as well. The circus guests wouldn't be happy to learn your secret, would they? Please, no. I'll explain everything, but don't reveal my secret. I am Wolfgang, and I simply play a wolf man for this circus. I'm just a hideous man. After the attacks, everyone suspected me. They threw rotten vegetables and threatened me. So, I made those footprints and stole the wolf's cub so everyone would suspect her instead. But I swear to you, I've hurt no one. In fact, someone shot me with a poison dart. I'm not lying. I just want my life to go back to normal.
this so-called wolfman was simply a monstrous man in makeup. His condition, the poison dart, and his coat buttons prove he's not the culprit. The gypsy warned me I had the wrong man. I feel she knows more than she's letting on. I shall speak to her again. There is no use hiding it from you anymore. I am a half-human. You may call us werewolves if you wish, but we are simply different. Observe. We've always been outnumbered among humans, so we live in disguise to protect ourselves and our special abilities. It is not a disease nor curse given through a bite. We are born this way. No full moon or eclipse causes our transformation. It happens through our own will, but that poison dart forced me to reveal my true nature. You will learn about different half-humans from this book. As you have seen, I may have owl. My ability is seeing the future. I see a danger from my kind. A half-wolf. Please, find him and stop him. He's risking our entire secret society. That is how I discovered half-humans. Unbelievable! They live among us! How can one distinguish these creatures from humans? Yes, I believe so. All half-humans share common features.
Let's take you, for example, Mayor Schulz. What common features with a half-human do you share? I dare say you could be half-human, but you really are as good as they say, detective. But you've seen too much. I didn't mean to show you my true face. What's going on? It was the poison, Mayor. Someone is hunting half humans. Please, let me help you. Thank you. This poison must be able to reveal half-human identities. By nature, I must protect my city. But at the same time, I cannot let our secret go public. Or there will be chaos. I'm sorry, detective, but I'm not a healthy man and must leave the investigating to you alone. Take my badge, though. Show it to the half-humans and they'll help you.
shockingly, the werewolf myth appears to be true. Half humans do exist. The two attacks on the half owl gypsy and the half dog Schultz prove someone is hunting them as well as ordinary humans. This hair sample shall help me determine if the attacker is a half human. But first I should question the one I saw through the spyglass. Would you like me to play a romantic ballad? Or perhaps a jaunty tune? No? I'm Fritz Stoltz, a half-monkey. I don't cause trouble, detective. I just make music. I may have seen something, but a good dinner will help me remember clearly. I'll give you this to prove I'm not dangerous. Merry Oktoberfest! Oh, should I say scary? With that damn werewolf frightening all my customers, I'm not making enough money. But even he would behave for one of my sausages, or oh, the finest in Munich for only four coins. Won't you try one? Well, my Oktoberfest special is clearly the best choice. But choose whichever you like and enjoy. Thanks. Hmm. We're very protective of our secret. <sighs> we only show our true faces to other half-humans. If we're in danger. That's why I don't believe this was a real half-wolf near the mayor's window. The hair you found might be fake. Check it. Here, you may need this. At your service, Detective. Yes, I can help you examine some hair samples. Gather the regents while I adjust the microscope.
How odd. You must see this for yourself. It's a typical mammalian structure, particularly for wolves. Now, this is definitely human hair. How strange. This one is like a crossbreed of humans and wolf, but that's impossible. Where did you find this? Another attack? The mare was poisoned, but he has heart problems. I must attend to him right away. Please, gather my tools while I find some medicine for Schultz. Thank you. I'm leaving immediately to cure Schultz. I suggest you ask a pharmacist about that poison. Examining the hair samples proved that the attacker was a half-wolf. I need a pharmacist to identify the poison used in the darts. It's here! Stop, Vince!
I'm sorry, Sam. Oh, didn't hear you come in. Welcome to Schnong's Pharmacy. If the mayor trusts you, then so do I. I'm half snake, so I'm a natural at pharmaceuticals. What do you need? Smells familiar, but I must be sure. Find these potions in my drawers. Thank you. 
While I examine them, find my record book. It speeds up the heart and may cause rage in humans, but it makes half-humans show their true nature. I prepared it for a half-human customer that needed it for an ill child. I don't remember him, but compare this prescription to the record in my book and you'll get the delivery address. He must be stopped. Before he reveals our secret society. These inscriptions are both the same size and share similar handwriting characteristics. The same person signed the prescription and wrote the address. Sir, we'll have to head across town to the old bridge.
so fried. Der eine ist klost. How did you get this? You ain't one of us. Down here, Kraus. Mayor Schulz gave this to me. I'm on your side. Peter Kraus, the inn owner. We have balls can be hot tempered. Would you mind preparing some tea to calm me? Then I'll help you to find the guest room you're looking for. Thank you. Now I can think clearly again. Let's clean up this mess I made and find my register book. Thank you. 
Oh, the delivery from Schleng's Pharmacy was for the guest in room eight. But the name is covered with ink. If this person is truly guilty, then you are free to inspect a room. Take the key.
the coat, the paw-like gloves, the pharmaceutical prescription, and the poisoned dart prove the attacker of the actress and the half-humans lives in this room. Unfortunately, he managed to escape. What if that abandoned castle mentioned in the diary is his hiding place? People say it's a werewolf's castle and avoid it. True or not, it's dangerous to go there. Vince, we must catch that villain. Sir, we're going to crush. Jump from the cab. for you. Uh, could you make a rope so I can climb out? Here. Forgive me for hiding my true nature from you all this time. But there's no use hiding it any longer, now that you know about us. I'm half-cat, and my ability is to sense danger. I still sense it in that castle of half-wolves. Yes, they certainly live there. The bridge is broken. The only way is to float there. Uh, perhaps you could find something to fasten the carriage to the horse, so I can pull it out? The cab's sinking. Let's throw out anything heavy. I saw a boat near the bank, but it's only for one. I'll wait for you here, sir. Be careful.
The castle looks abandoned. But the clues lead to that well. Is my suspect inside?
<laughs> I thought it was him. Please don't hurt me. I'm Elsa, a half-wolf, but I'm not dangerous. My only crime is I trusted the half-human secrets to the wrong man. I live here with my daughter, but one day she got very sick. He promised to cure her, but kidnapped her instead. He returned her only after I told him everything about half-humans. I tried to warn the others, but he tortured me and locked me in here. He made that costume and pretended to be a half-wolf to commit those crimes. It wasn't me! Her wounds prove she was tortured. Her posture and gestures indicate she's anxious, but not guilty. Bravo, Detective. You found the werewolf torturing Munich, but it's so sad that you tragically died while catching the monster. Farewell, Ellen. Investigation brought me to the werewolf's castle where I found its inhabitant, the half-wolf Elsa. She turned out to be another victim. Vince warned me about the castle, but I didn't listen. Dr. Richter tried to kill me and took Elsa. To reveal his plans and stop him, I must find his secret laboratory.
<laughs> Thank heavens it's you, detective. Don't worry about me. Hurry to the street festival at the square. He's keeping the other half-humans there. Take this. Detective, it's you. Richter improved my potion and injected us. Now we can't change back to our human form. We can't escape either or someone will see us. The doctor's going to reveal us to the crowd, so we take the fall for his crimes. They'll kill us just because we're different. Please, make the antidote at my pharmacy and bring it to us. After curing Elsa's daughter, Dr. Richter discovered half-humans and became obsessed with experimenting on them to create a superhuman. He created a costume and used it to attack the citizens. That's how he started the werewolf rumors and caused the people to fear them. He then used Schlanger's potion to reveal the other half-humans and caught them. Showing their true faces to the crowd will spark nothing less than a war. I can prepare an antidote and give it to the half-humans. I'll prove he's simply a madman to the crowd and gain time for the police to arrive.
you again. I'm about to make a scientific breakthrough. These beasts' lives will be sacrificed in its name, and so shall you. Richter was arrested for his crimes, but his potion sparked a revolution in medicine. The half-human's secret wasn't revealed, and so, to ordinary people, they remain grim fairy tales. No, with Munich behind us. What's next, sir? Another dark city, my friend. <laughs> 